Hello, it's Olga here and today I will show you how I created uh, this pastel canvas with amazing wild orchid crafts flowers and uh, certain arts medias. I'm starting with prepared canvas with some aquarelle ombre and effect with violet, blue and yellow. I have prepared some uh, wild orchid crafts flowers and my first uh, layer will be adding a little bit of texture on top of my work. Then we'll be using lots of fabric. I have some gauze, some um, organza flower stream in two colors. I just covered everything with this uh, mixed color. Uh, it's lavender, pastel blue and yellow. Then I dry it up and uh, I'm starting to put uh, them on my canvas. I'm adding some circles. Uh, I made it from aquarel paper uh, with my mists and I'm just adding layer of uh, circles and some fabric uh, layers. Uh, I'm adding extra and uh, not dyed um, gauze to have this uh, soft uh, effect in my work. Some parts of those uh, flower trims I put under my composition and then add white mist uh, in the middle and dry everything with my heat gun. Before I go to next step, uh, everything has to be completely dry. I'm adding some resin frame uh, I colorize it with my mists uh, and want it to look a little bit shabby uh, with these white spots uh, visible. Uh, I'm adding a little more uh, white and covering frame to not uh, have it white. And then I'm adding decorations. I'm starting with some tweaks and uh, stripe. Uh, red and then I will add flowers on top of it. Uh, I want to have many elements in my composition. The twigs are white, I uh, spray it with my white meat to have this um, nice uh, white effect. Uh, with paper magnolias I take off uh, the first layer of petals then I'm making them really really wet adding my colors and spray lots of water on top to have a really uh, good uh, blue here. When they are wet they lost their shape totally but when I'm heating them up I'm forming again uh, the nice uh, dimensional shape of flower. When pa paper will be completely dry they will be uh, good as me. And then I decided that I want them to look more like from the fairy tale. So uh, I'm adding a little bit of glue and uh, jilter on top of it. I'm using a crystal uh, jilter without color, only those little bit of shine. Then I'm adding next flowers and stamps to my composition. I use those gorgeous little poppies and violet stems uh, as um, filling in my composition I used um, apple bluebombs and sweetheart bluebombs they are so 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 cute all flowers have um, petals covered with a little bit of jilter I'm just trying to get a really natural look uh, composition. Uh, I added also a crystal uh, stems. They're really awesome. I love those those little stems, and they adding this little bling to my works. Some more tweaks, just rich, full of flowers and naturally uh, looking composition. It was my goal. 
at the end to add a little more blink I'm adding white seconds uh, uh, I'm gluing them on gel medium as a finishing touch I add some black splatters with a splash ink uh, on top of it do not waste any uh, any materials I'm putting those uh, petals that I have left it after uh, resized uh, magnolias and putting them under composition too so you can uh, now watch the details thank you very much for your attention have a nice and crafty day and don't forget to step by my blog and while go hit blog uh, to for more inspirations what could you do with those amazing flowers bye bye